So I've had a really varied career in the civil service, which is one of the hallmarks of working in the public sector. So whilst I may be the director of the Prime Minister's Implementation Unit now, working across government, my previous roles have included working in the Ministry of Defence and doing the analysis director job there and leading teams of analysis working on some amazing technologies and new ideas. But also before that, I've worked in the immigration business, making sure there's a performance system so we know where immigrants and asylum seekers in the system are, we can support them appropriately and there's a performance measure around the outcomes the Home Secretary wants to achieve. But there's been other jobs which had nothing to do with analysis. I had the privilege of being Theresa May's Principal Private Secretary in the Home Office where I got an insight into all things from counter-terrorism activity by the police through to how we might um, manage the, the crime fighting and firefighting around the UK. But my career actually began outside the civil service, where I spent eight years in a major blue chip banking organisation and thoroughly enjoyed working on risk and analysis there. And one of the challenges of coming into civil service was I thought it was going to be completely different. Actually, the skills and things I learned on a graduate scheme in a blue chip company are really similar to the sorts of things I would have learned if I'd been a fast streamer or a new entrant to the civil service some 28 years ago now. So there are plenty of barriers to being in the civil service and some of them are sometimes more acute as an analyst because we analysts don't always do those whizzy speeches and able to string wonderful policy arguments together and sometimes that can be a challenge in when you're trying to persuade ministers to do difficult things but actually you can learn those skills you can practice those skills um, and some of the development opportunities I've had have honed my ability to convince ministers using data and evidence of the, the some of the difficult policy challenges I think MPs that become ministers sometimes think the first bit of their job is to do things the public want. Actually often the decisions they're faced with are the lesser of two or three or four evils and actually as a civil servant developing into somebody that can ra create a really strong argument about why we should do A over B um, is really really quite a challenge and you use your mentors, you use your colleagues to develop you, to help you learn the skills of writing well Actually, the level of analysis we do sometimes is uh, fairly simple stuff compared to what I learnt as a university student. Other times, it's phenomenally complicated and we might um, want to think about how data linkage is a really important skill, as much as being able to do the really difficult, complex analysis using those techniques that some of those PhD graduates bring to my team. So a typical day in the life of the head of the Prime Minister's Implementation Union, there isn't one, uh, no two days are the same. But there are sort of two functions that I find myself doing that I enjoy completely differently. The first one is the relationships I have with folks across government. My job opens some doors and it means I can get into a conversation with some senior people that are charged by their Secretary of State of doing some really challenging stuff in government across the whole of the public sector uh, delivery landscape. That's enjoyable because we get to talk about problems, we get to talk about what they're doing, what they need to do to achieve success and sometimes the challenges that, that are standing in their way, the barriers, sometimes in other government departments, sometimes just around the behaviour of citizens. That's the first part and I really enjoy those conversations and once or twice a day I'll be on the phone or on a uh, digital call as it so much is now talking to uh, the, the Director General of uh, a particular part of government about how their business is doing and a particular one of the Prime Minister's priorities. That's the second best bit of my day. The first best bit of my day is doing the analysis. Now I don't get to do as much as I would like but my team, they really do enjoy bringing data together, together from different parts of the system, linking it together. And there are loads of great examples of where government previously hasn't linked data together. But when you bring it together, suddenly you see things, you find insights that you didn't know existed. Um, I, we looked at how the criminal justice system works recently and I've been doing a series of meetings about how we get the police data linked to court data, linked to the prison service data. Now a lot of that is already linked but not all of it is linked in the same systems and my analysts have loved the fact they can draw a thread between what happens when a police officer arrests somebody right the way through to when somebody leaves prison. Now, 
that's quite difficult to do analytically. So there's some days where we do a lot of that. And the final bit is occasionally I spend time with the Prime Minister where I take him through the data and sitting right in the cabinet table um, doing a live tableau demonstration where we're looking at how a police force is doing, thinking about that criminal justice data and how that compares to uh, different parts of the UK and different crime types. It's really interesting. I love working with ministers and particularly the Secretaries of State as they see insights in the data they otherwise wouldn't see. But it's not all about that. It's much more fun to actually be doing that analysis, if I'm honest.